Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right, I would like to invite in all that is loving. Let me be an open and clear channel for the messages coming in today. This is a reading for the collective. Okay, we are gonna do love, career, and personal. We got judgment, career, we have the Knight of Pentacles, oh, that's good. And on personal, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so what I see here in love is you're very vulnerable kind of feeling like you're in a casket and you really just want to free yourself. It's very emotional. You're kind of on rocky waters, walking on eggshells. This angel here has got this grumpy face. It feels like Every time you try to express your emotions, somebody is hollering back, right? They're trying to be louder than you are. They're not really listening to what you're saying. You feel very judged. you're not necessarily in the same boat. You have your own boat here, right? So you're separated. And you're reaching out somebody to help you grasping for anything, grasping at the air. Maybe you're a lot in your mind and it's very loud. Your mind keeps spinning. This kind of feels like a death and maybe a rebirth as well. Maybe you're having some sort of confrontation with somebody, right? There's a lot of yelling. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of static. There's a lot of waves. And you're calling to your angel for help. How do you get into the same boat with this person? How do you become on the same page? Okay, and then we have the career. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The 
think nights are about movement. This could be a um, the beginning of a career. You're moving towards something. I do see that you are going to have a lot of tangible things, money, material items. His arm looks really weird right here. I'm like, okay, does he have an extra arm? Maybe you are um, feeling a little overworked because you only have so many hands, right? Maybe you need to call for some help. And you do have your horse here that's helping to move you along. This is what you're looking for. You're holding it up like, I need to find some more of these. Help me find more pentacles, right? And this is a really big pentacle. It's overflowing in this guy's hand. But he's wearing a lot of armor. So you could be very shielded. Um, you're not sure about something because you're kind of standing still here. You're observing before you move forward. Is this something that it, you can trust? His toes look really funny. It's like almost like a totem pole. You know, maybe you're working your way up the totem pole to earn more money. But I feel like the higher that you go, the more you actually have to shield yourself. I'm seeing a lot of teal, teal outline. You're sitting kind of funny on this horse. You don't look very comfortable. The horse doesn't look very comfortable either. The horse is kind of like waiting for your signal to move forward. I'm hearing workhorse. Maybe you're overworking yourself in order to get this large sum of money. But it might not be the right direction. You're very hesitant. You don't feel safe. Let's see. Want to see why are you hesitating to move forward? Why are you so uncomfortable in your career? The gardener. You need to water something. This is funny. So this kind of, this reminds me of here, like I have a plant that's literally hanging just like this here in the fifth wheel, right? There's a lot of rain, but there's some sunshine here. It's kind of back and forth. These plants need to be watered. I don't see any water coming out here though. It 
looks empty. It looks kind of like there's space. The star space in there. It's empty. You have nothing left to give. But you are trying to grow. And you need to have some sort of a balance. You need some freedom. Maybe you need to go put yourself in some dirt. I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. You're in alignment with this. This is part of your destiny. But you need to fill that container with some water. That could be your emotions. Right? All living things need water and sunshine in order to grow. Maybe you need to get out more. Be one with nature. You need to ground yourself. More information on why you are stuck. The tower, so you need to have a, you're gonna be having a tower moment. Maybe you are climbing this totem pole, but you keep falling, right? You keep getting to a certain point And then you fall and you're falling on all these crystals down here, which are sharp. And there's lots of other people falling here with you. It's not just you. <laughs> this girl right here, she's actually taking a selfie as she falls. So is this guy. He's taking selfies as well. Right, and then we have all these figures here. They kind of just look like they're skydiving. They're almost having fun. They don't, I mean, they're just silhouettes, but they are kind of enjoying the fall. And this tower is made out of boulders. It doesn't look like it has any sort of um, grout or cement holding it together. And of course it's on fire. It's being struck by lightning. All right, this is like a hang loose. <laughs> All right, maybe you need to just loosen up, relax a bit. All right. The girl here is going to fall on her feet. The man here is going to fall on his head. And they're both taking selfies. This reminds me of like the hanged man. You're, you have a different perspective, right? Look at it from both sides, right? What you're getting here as well, because you have the rain and then you have the sun, which are opposites, right? There are things that are out of your control. The weather is out of your control. This fire here is out of your control. You kind of just need to go with the flow, which we have here with going with the flow. So this is affecting a lot of issues in your life, your career, your love. If 
You maybe love yourself more. Keep hearing. Free, free fallen. Tom Petty, I believe. Yeah, I'm free. There's a lot of freedom here in this tower moment. Something is going to happen very suddenly. Okay, here, and then we have personal, which is the six of pentacles. And we have a balance of it's give and take. All right, right here you're receiving some sort of a justice. You're having harmony. Six is harmony. Reminds me of community, you know, keeping the money in your, your local community, right? Maybe teaching, maybe you're being taught something or you are teaching something. Somebody is going to help you out financially. But it's interesting because she's on her knee, like she's proposing. She's asking for the handout. Instead of the hand in marriage, it's for the handout. Okay, but this is something that you do deserve. This is justice. And we even have this other person here sitting in awe. <clears throat> like, thank you so much. I keep hearing on your knees, bitch. <laughs> All right, which is kind of vulgar. But maybe this person might have some sort of control over you because they are giving you something that you're asking for. could be like the son or the daughter of this person. It looks like they are like behind them, right? And I am so proud of you, daddy. Like I am looking at my, my father. My father is being a good role model for this child. And helping others out. And pentacles are a very slow moving suit. It means winter. Maybe you were um, left out in the cold. You know, kind of left out in the cold. You, you need some help here really unsure of the direction that you're going in. 
but there is some salvation here. There is somebody to help you here, right? You just need to get yourself out of this death box. Get out of the coffin. Don't worry about judgment. Don't worry about what others are thinking about you. And go for your dreams. Go for what it is that you are searching for, that you're investing in. Something is going to happen very suddenly. What is happening very suddenly here? Perseverance. Okay, you're going to come out on top here. This is the, the sun. This is the rainbow, right? Because we have the water and the sun here, which makes this rainbow. Persevere. Okay, once again, you're naked. You're out in the desert now. It's dry. We're no longer in the water. All right, still naked though. But I think the rainbow indicates that spirit is listening. Spirit is going to grant you this wish. is a spiritual person. Lots of third eyes. There's an eye on her butt cheek here. There's a third eye on the sun. This rainbow is literally coming out of her hands. You are creating this. But you need the sunshine. You need to get out in the sun. Get your vitamin D. Ground yourself. Become vulnerable to have this tower moment. Right? You went from struggle to I have no water. Right? You still have no water here. But you did because it's raining. You just need to fill your cup here, though. You need to fill this, this container. Your water spout. Pour it and share it onto others. Right? You don't have a rainbow without the rain. So you must have gotten some rain here, even though it is dry right now. I think you're just getting sprinkles here and there of these things that you want. Alright, so how do we create more water? The Zoom meeting. <laughs> this kitchen is literally on fire. So maybe you have a, a YouTube channel and you need some, some extra money. So maybe you need to create something on Zoom. Right, you gotta put these fires out though. Like your house is on fire. You have knives stabbed into your, your heart and in your back. You definitely need some water. There should be a sink somewhere right back here. You have pots here on the stove. Right, 
you're too much in your mind. There are too many challenges. You have taken on too many things. All these swords indicate all the different things that you're trying to take on at once. And it's lighting you on fire. It's making you feel ungrounded. There are a lot of things to balance here. There's a lot of work that needs to get done. Put the fires out. Okay, Spirit, can you please tell me more information about how to manage this fire without water. How do we manage this fire without water? The life of the party. Coming out of the coffin here. Disco. Have more fun. I think you are so tied up in your work and worried about money that you're not having any fun. Get out of this deathbed that you're planting here. Right, and I see the stars here in this coffin, which is like the stars that I see inside this bucket, in the spout. Right, leave that emptiness behind. We have four tombstones. Maybe there's um, four people in your family. Um, this is kind of like reminds me of Michael Jackson, the way that he's standing with this outfit. Thriller comes to mind, right? Maybe you need some sort of thrill in, in your life. You need to dance more. Four is about foundation, right? And we're in this bed here, this coffin. This is your final resting bed, but you're coming out of it. We do have our foundations here. So it's very foundational that you become life of the party Maybe this could be in, you know, all aspects here. Love, career, personal. Right, people are starting to see you now. And all your glitz and glam and glory. And how you can move and shake. Styling. You know, you're stylish. Dance like nobody is looking. <laughs> I mean, you have this collection of skulls in here, which kind of reminds me of the um, the caves under in under Europe, um, under Paris. They have a whole underground area of tunnels. It's a whole tunnel system. And there's a bunch of skulls and bones stacked up in there that were moved from somewhere else. Right? 
right? Because this, this was like the tower moment, right? So this is the skulls of all the people who had died during this tower moment. But don't let that stop you from being resurrected. Have more fun. You don't need that water. Who needs water? All right, speaking of water. This is making me very dry. <laughs> you know, I keep asking spirit about water, but I'm not getting any water really. I keep coming up empty. I'm very thirsty for something. What are you thirsty for? The two of these. These nuts. <laughs> I love this one. So funny. Maybe you're being really squirrely. You just need to stop and pay attention to one or two things, right? I already told you you're having this tower moment. You're running dry because you have too much on your plate. You're on fire. You have all these ideas and that's great, but you can only do so much at one time. So you need to stop squirreling around and be triumphant. Stand in your own. Show what kind of balls that you have. Show me your balls, right? Not in like a perverted way. More of like a, show me what you got. Okay, make people stop and look. Maybe even laugh. Okay, because we did talk about being the life of the party. In both of these, you are standing very triumphantly. You no longer have your skin, right? Where you were naked. You were naked here, you're really going down. You know, I show so many at a time. You're naked. Now we're going down to the bare bone. So you're not just vulnerable. <laughs> you have shed your skin. But you are standing proud. Show them what you got. Looks like we have some rain clouds here. Maybe you're gonna finally get some rain. I did talk about winter, the pentacles, winter, and squirrels will gather their nuts and store them for the winter. Right, so maybe this is gonna come to fruition in the winter. Which, you know, normally you would have a lot of rain. Right? You're that's where the rain's gonna come. It's gonna put out these fires here. Create this rainbow. Create the sense of triumph. You've collected your nuts, right? You've collected all these skulls here. Maybe this is even learning something new, right? You're collecting information from several different people. 
and then you've got all of these other skeletons in the back or dancing in the background but you're the star of the show we also have the two disco balls right so we have two balls two balls nuts these are very sparkly these are very um sought after they're nourishing You know, when you see a disco ball, doesn't it get you excited? I mean, there's beautiful colors. There's rainbows all over the place. And they're spinning around. Okay, so... see so what is it that you are seeking here what are you seeking to become what are we watering who are you because you've come from this place of need and death and trauma and you're rising up okay researcher explorer of truth exploration study rigor experiment you need to do some more research Barber, artist of tresses, trimming, beautification, adornment, fashion, right? So we were already talking about fashion here. Like you put on your beautiful clothes, right? You're putting clothes on now. Although you are down to your bare bones, you actually have clothes on. Maybe go get a haircut. Go buy some new clothes. Make yourself feel good. Right? Become that life of the party. If you look good, you feel good. Okay, crystal ball oracle. Go, the time is right. Do it now. Phases of the moon. Sheds them some things, right? Shed some emotions. Shed your lack of worthiness. Okay, these things take time. Like, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do here. This is going to take some time. It's not going to happen right away, but you do need to start right now. One step at a time, though. Right? And I think that by winter, you're going to have what you want. Not the right time. Well, isn't that contradicting? Go, the time is right. And not the right time. These are both the sands of time. We have a broken clock. We have some mushrooms. We have the phases of the moon. See what time is it there? Uh, let's see. Well, it's about one twenty-three. One, two, three. Step by step, in order. Yeah. 
then we have these mushrooms growing and fungus grows everywhere it basically would take over the world if we let it So it's interesting. We have this contradictory here though. Go, the time is right, not the right time. Let's see, where's my deck here? Spirit, give me more information on this contradiction of timing. Is the time right or is it not right? What does that mean? Why is it contradicting? <laughs> the star. Your wish is granted. You need to have some balance. We've been talking about balance. The chariot, fast movement. This is also about balance. This is a cancer card. Cancers are very emotional. Something about your emotions, right? We even have the ocean here again. And the three of wands. You need to contemplate something. Right, that's standing still. So here again, we have fast movement and then standing still. Fast movement and then standing still. In order to get you to your wish here, you need to take action on one thing at a time. Stop, look at it, contemplate it, see where to go next, and then move forward quickly. And then just keep doing that on each step instead of trying to do everything at once and then lighting on fire right stop and enjoy your time a little more enjoy the process which is funny because my uh, adopted father just said that to me I was stressing out about looking for jobs so that I can have enough money to build my house because we had a fire. It's been a long time coming. We're finally back on our property. And he said, enjoy the process. Doesn't mean it's easy, but you need to stop and enjoy life. Right? And this has been the theme. Hurry, hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. That has been the process. I'm going to do one more of these. Since we're contradicting here, I'm going to see what it would say. Get more information. Continue to study. Mm -hmm. Let's do the Witch's Familiar Runic Oracle. Hey. Uh, Men. Neza. Menza. Menas? Menas? <laughs> this is like a otter. Let's see. I'm going to read the book on this one. Menas. Let's see. I don't know if 
these are like in any kind of order here. I wonder if there's a... It's a meerkat. 40. Page 40. We're on foundation again. Mm -hmm. This one is just stuck, right? Feeling stuck. The meerkat. The keenly intelligent meerkat finds joy in family and kin. Each individual contributes to their own strengths to the betterment of success of the clan and society. Lessons learned by one generation are then passed down to those that follow, continuing to strengthen the perfect and perfect the clan. As much as Mana speaks of the joy of clan and kinship, this rune represents the rational mind and intelligence rather than emotion and instinct. When you're present with this rune, it is time to leave emotions behind and return to the rational. It reserves the seed, it references the seed of divine intelligence in the human soul and our united collective potential. Right? Getting help. You have help here, right? I was talking about uh, here where we have your family, where we have the foundation, right? The four tombstones. This is a time for the mind, memory, and learning, right? And we just got that. The time, <laughs> which is, you know, stop and go, and then get more information. In reverse, the rune represents depression, blindness, self-delusion, bigotry, bigotry, and intellectual ignorance. Keywords, humanity, intelligence, awareness, society, learning, magical workings. Use this rune as an aid to access the collective unconscious of earth and humanity. Draw it in the sand at the beach or in the dirt when forest bathing, right? So here we're at the beach. Here we're in the sands. Right, get out of these emotions. It's time to leave emotions be behind and return to the rational. Okay, yeah, these are wishes granted. Let's see, um, who can we look to for help in this situation? In all of these situations, really. Love, career, and personal. Who can we look toward for help? Divineer, seer of the unseen, foresight, insight, cosmic connection. Look within. Look to the universe for the answers. Meditate, ground yourself. This one wants the traveler, seeker of horizons, adventurer, experience, long journey. Right, this is gonna take some time. Stop and go, stop and go, right? The traveler stops for a while explores the area that they're in and then they move on to another destination you've got to look to the horizons it's about the experience but this is a long journey
Wow, see, kind of a mess here, right? This is not, whoa, this one wants to pop out. Blacksmith, forge, melting, shaping, tempering. Wasn't gonna pull another one, but it wanted to jump out and there's that fire again. Okay. To forge something, you need it to be very, very hot. Okay. So that you can shape it to what it is you're seeking. So as I was saying, this is kind of a mess here, right? This is not organized at all right now because we're stopping and we're going and then we're going back and we're reflecting to see where we came from, see how far you came from the beginning of this judgment to the tower. And how these different things shape who you are. You're really thirsty for something. There's this fire inside of you. You were able to travel around, explore different things, get more information, seek help from others. Okay, well, thank you for being here with me today. Please hit that like button, uh, share and subscribe. Make sure you get notifications so you never miss a reading and help this channel out. I thank you for being here. I thank you for watching. You are a part of my community and I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you all for being here. I thank the angels for being here, for protecting and guiding us all. Okay. If you'd like a personal reading, go to onewhoseeks.info. Schedule it today. And I will see you now in the next reading. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.